Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I want to highlight some of the features that are available on the Flint Compact from Henry Holsters. A couple of weeks ago, I did a similar video about the Hitchhiker from Dark Star Gear. And essentially what I'm trying to do with these videos is highlight that there are different features available on different holsters. I wanna to talk to you guys about what those features can do for us so that we can kind of differentiate what features we wanna prioritize in the holsters that we select for our specific needs. So I actually bought this holster several months ago Go. And the reason that I bought it was because I wanted to try out its unique features. I didn't own anything else like it. And I actually still don't own anything else like this holster. It's um, unique. And that's why there's so many different holsters out there that I want to and do recommend to you guys, because again, they all have different features that work differently for different people. So again, wanting to highlight the differences in this holster. So first uh, unique feature of this holster is that it has a built-in wedge. And I would say that this is a very minimal built in wedge. I think that a lot of people can benefit from the size and location of this wedge. Um, it's a little bit more raised uh, towards the slide side of the gun. So it's going to help kind of tip your grip into your body a little bit more. And it's also raised a little bit more towards the bottom here, which is going to help tip the gun into you this way. So we have the mod wing that's going to be interacting with your belt to press the grip of your gun in closer, but you also have this uh, minimal wedge built into the holster that's also going to push up against it. And to kind of answer the questions that might arise from a built-in wedge like this, a lot of the wedges that you guys have seen on my channel have been foam wedges. And for me, I imagine that adding some level of comfort and it certainly does. Um, and when I bought this holster, I kind of wondered if the built-in Kydex wedge um, would be uncomfortable, that it would almost act like a poking thing. Um, but it doesn't poke at all. It hasn't been bothersome for me when I have carried in this holster. Um, it's wide enough so that that pressure is dispersed enough that it really does just press up against your body and torque the gun into you uh, versus just kind of pressing into you that way, if that makes sense. The benefit of having a built-in wedge on your holster is that you don't necessarily have to add a wedge to it and then have to switch that out over time when it starts to wear down. Anything made of foam or whatever else you're using to build your wedge that is a flexible thing is eventually going to get compressed over time and you're going to have to replace it, which isn't really a big deal, but if you're going through wedges, it's gonna be nice to have the built-in wedge. You're not having to replace it or deal with Velcro or anything like that. Um, you just have that already built in fairly minimal wedge. The next feature that I wanna talk about is that this is a fixed retention holster. And again, that was something that I was really excited to try when I did first get this holster. It was my first ever fixed retention holster. And I really love that feature. Um, it has a really awesome level of retention. And when you go to tighten down your wing or tighten it down after you've taken it apart, put it back together, you're not having to mess with the adjustable retention because it's just a set retention. So you can crank down on those screws and it'll never Ever make a difference in how tight or how loose your gun is fitting in the holster. It's just a fixed retention holster. You also get that audible click with this holster. Um, I really do like the retention on this. Um, again, this was my first experience with a fixed retention holster. And when I first tried it, it did have quite a bit more retention than I was used to. Um, but prior to this, I was always setting my own retention um, with the adjustable retention holsters I had. And I honestly really like how much retention this has. And it's encouraged me to add more retention to even my, my adjustable retention holsters. Next is that it has an open-ended muzzle here. So if you'll remember from the Dark Star Gear video, it has a enclosed muzzle. So if you were wanting to add something like a compensator, um, you wouldn't be able to do that in the Dark Star Gear holster. But in this holster, it has an open-ended muzzle so that if you're going to add something like that to your gun, um, your gun would still fit in the holster. It also has a full sweat guard and the mod wing comes with two different inserts. I don't believe that when you get this from Henry Holsters, I don't think that it comes with this angled one, um, but you could actually purchase these directly from Filster um, and it does come in two different sizes. And that's something that I really appreciate about the mod wing, especially when somebody's just getting into concealed carry and they're not totally sure how much grip tuck they're actually needing or even wanting. I like that they have the option to switch it out for the smaller 
or the larger insert. I think that's a pretty important feature when you're just kind of dipping your toes into all this and figuring out what you need. Personally, I really prefer the angled in inserts like this. And this is actually a really new thing that you can actually buy the angled in pieces for the mod wing. Um, previously, from what I understand, that was only available with the dark wing, but the dark wing was not interchangeable as far as how much of, uh, well, the sizing, the sizing of the dark wing is not um, interchangeable. It's just one fixed size. I just like that it's an option um, with this wing that comes with the uh, Flint Compact. It already comes with two inserts. And if you want to try the angled edge, you can just buy that kit um, and add that on there. So you kind of get the option of versatility with that. And then as far as the clip attachments go, there's just this one clip attachment here, and then there's one up here towards the top. And then if you so choose, you can always attach a clip to uh, where the mod wing actually attaches. So you have three different options for where you would want to attach clips. Um, you can't use something like the mono block with this. Um, you really can only use like a single clip unless you're going to put a clip here and onto where the wing actually attaches. The other nice thing about just Henry holsters in general is that there aren't any holster lead times. So with a lot of holster companies out there, you put your order in and then it's actually made to order. So you have to wait anywhere from, you know, two, three weeks to sometimes even two months. And that's something that I really love about Henry Holsters is that when you go on their website and it says that it's in stock, it's in stock and it's going to ship. You don't have to wait for it to actually be made. So if you're looking for a holster with no lead times, something with fixed retention, a full sweat guard, an open-ended muzzle, a minimal built-in wedge, and the adjustable mod wing, then this is the holster you're gonna wanna go for. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope these videos kind of highlighting the different features and things that are available on quality holsters have been helpful for you. I plan to make more of them over the next couple of months. So keep an eye out for those if you wanna see some more and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.